thank you for staying with us. Uh, Trevor, can you share with us what's the oldest establishment you have, Mango Tree or your other brand? Uh, well, our heritage started with, with Coca Restaurant in Bangkok in 1957. Mm -hmm. So in August this year, we'll be 59 years old as a restaurant group. Uh, our oldest mango tree is in London, is 15 years old, uh, followed by Tokyo, Japan, uh, will be 14 this year. In Japan, 14 years. Yes. Now, what can you take for our success stories or uh, practices, best practices from, from this location? I know it will differ with Indonesia, but what are the, what are the, the uh, best practices that you can take out of this uh, 15 years or 14 years experience that you can bring to Indonesia? Well, I think the, the one that we talked about earlier when we're talking about the growing middle class, mm -hmm. I think what we've been able to do very successfully in Japan, for example, after 14 years is we started with our casual fine dining, or as a lot of people call it, fine dining. Yeah. But, um, and we were able to go into the shopping mall and, and create a concept called Mango Tree Cafe. Mm -hmm. And we have 12 of those in Japan, and we've become a market leader for a Thai restaurant in Japan. Therefore, any landlord wants to open a Thai restaurant in their new shopping mall or complex, they usually call us first. Right. We were also able to develop even a, a quick service tier uh, called Mango Tree Kitchen in Japan that we were that we were putting into train stations and and uh, high volume centers. Uh, that's also going to go into airports very soon, and so we've been able to tier it. And I think that's part of the success that we want to bring here is really bringing the. You know, the mango tree flagship, we usually do one or two, like for here we foresee two or three right. of our flagships. And then after that, it's all about building the, the cafes and the bistros for that middle market. Right. Um, and so I think with that confidence and that experience in Japan, plus also doing that in some of our other countries already, um, uh, over recently in the last five years, I feel very confident that we can really lay a foundation for Thai cuisine here and be the, the premier brand for Thai cuisine. Yeah. So uh, what are the, aside from the major uh, obvious destination, Jakarta, Bali, uh, the big cities, what are the cities you're looking at to uh, actually establish mango tree? Uh, I think that has to, add, we need to do a bit more research in that, right. just to be honest. I mean, I know we can go to Medan mm -hmm. and um, Yogyakarta or something, that other city there, mm -hmm. but I haven't actually traveled to those cities myself physically, mm -hmm. which is which is what I do uh, to make sure that we really understand the, the city and understand the culture. So I'll go into a new city and I'll spend three or four days with it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and spend the time to really understand it and say, and I'll come back to our team in Bangkok and I'll say, mm -hmm. okay, this is what we need to do in this city. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's our, our so-called localization where we say, okay, this one, we can't do exactly the same menu as Jakarta. They're not maybe as adventurous. Right. So let's start with this more basic menu. Uh, let's do something like this. I noticed they eat this type of product there. What can we do with that product? Whether it's a, say a fish or some unique vegetable. I always try to look for something like that, and then that's how I localize and put a Thai flavor mm -hmm. to something like that. So there's great work in, in, in terms of market research before you actually determine which cities and what kind of, uh, uh, which tier that you should, you should actually develop in that, in that specific location. Now, um, uh, so you're looking at how many people are actually the family of Mango Tree here? You have over 70, uh, over restaurants around the world and how do you what is the culture of mango tree actually because it started as a family mm. you know is that we're on our third generation actually uh, over the last few weeks the third generation she just started as a CEO COO of the company mm -hmm. uh, Natalie has been working with me together in Washington DC over the last year and a half and she's done some other projects with me already plus she's been working in restaurants and some different hotels to gain some different experience before she came into the business. So it's not just a hand-me-down business. Right. She went out and got good, hard uh, experience so now that she can bring that into the business and really know what uh, she's talking about. So, you know, our whole ph core philosophies come from some things like family. Earlier today, we were talking about how we've all in society maybe lost a bit of that, the old days of, of eating together. And, and that's what restaurants are there to provide now is a place that you can go and spend time with your family because mm -hmm. now with our hectic schedules and things, we don't have time and to sit And thanks to down. technology. Yes. And uh, that's uh, somehow uh, kept us together but sets us apart in a way. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. And so, you know, our restaurants all come from the philosophy. We, when we train people about 
envisioning someone coming to your own house and they have to close their eyes and go through this exercise and go through it so that they understand that when you invite someone to your house, you're gonna guide them through your house. Right. You're not gonna just let them walk all over the place. Right. So we have some core values like that, which are just come from natural human being humanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many people, how many uh, employees do you have so far? From the, oh. The 70 yeah. over restaurants. Well, it, that I actually don't know <laughs> the number with all the 70 restaurants, mm -hmm, but just mm -hmm. in Bangkok alone, we have over 600 staff. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 15 restaurants in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the rest are all outside Bangkok. So okay. we've cr uh, built quite a big family. We've been doing some new things now where we're having chef competitions between the countries so that we can identify new talent within our own of ranks uh, and help bring some of these uh, great young talented chefs up to the forefront and, mm -hmm. and be able to utilize them and say, hey, you can contribute on the worldwide level. Mm -hmm. So let's get you here to Bangkok. Let's have this little chef competition, see what you can do and yeah. see how you can contribute to the overall brand. All right. We'll take another short break. We'll come back with Trevor McKenzie, uh, the Managing Director of Mango Tree Worldwide.